Hi guys, this is Matthias, and in this video I'd like to share with you some of my first impressions of the DLT-19 blaster rifle. Now this is a fast fire rate, low damage per bullet or per projectile weapon, which is quite normal for a weapon suitable for close quarter combat. Now I'll be perfectly honest, normally this is not my type of weapon, but I decided to give it a go anyway, and I was very positively surprised. After a couple of rounds here on drop zone, I even tried it out on Walker Assault, uh, just to check it out uh, for longer ranges, and it was surprisingly good at ranges that one would think would be only suitable for the cycler rifle. So now the loadout that I'm using is going to change throughout the video. I have the cycling rifle here, but I will replace that with the thermal detonator. Same goes for the ion shots, they are almost completely useless on this map, and uh, I will start using the shield quite soon. The footage from this video is from early on, the second day of open beta, and the loadout that I'm using here is more suitable on a walker assault if you're playing for the Rebel Alliance, at least in my opinion anyway. Now at long ranges I actually do tap fire with this one, I burst fire like uh, three, four, maybe five uh, projectiles in each burst. But in this video, when I'm playing on this map, you'll probably just see me doing that once or twice. So now during the open beta, this weapon was the most expensive one to unlock. But at the rate of which you earn in-game currency, that's nothing to worry about. You will quickly get enough to buy all four weapons and all the cards available. I'm pretty sure that's going to change once the game goes live though. This is quite common for beta testing. So now out of the three blasters that I've tried out so far, this is probably my favorite. I didn't like the pistol that much, uh, whatever it's called, and the one that I haven't tried out yet is the E11. And by that I mean at the time that I'm making this video. By the time that you're watching this, I have probably used the E11 for a few hours. Not sure if that's going to be enough for me to make up my mind of which one I like the best, but we'll just have to wait and see. Now, since the open beta only lasts for five days, and since the weapons are probably going to be changed quite a bit once the game is released, it might feel rather pointless to decide which one is your favorite, or which one is overpowered, which one is above, and some such. But hopefully, if you try to understand the fundamental of each weapon, it might help you decide which one is the best for you. So now I hope you will enjoy the rest of the video. I will continue playing this game uh, during the open beta, and I will continue uploading, so I hope you will stay tuned for that. And uh, yeah. Thank you all for watching.
now. Move on that location and capture it. Secure it. The escape pod will soon be under rebel control. of another part. Identify the position of another escape pod. 